ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Orbit Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we are checking out Factory Town, which has just hit 1.0 release. Factory Town, if you've never heard of it. I mean, what have you been doing? What have you been doing? Seriously, this is a great organizational automation base building game where you're responsible for creating all of the products uh, and all of the resources that uh, that a town of your dreams could uh, could realistically need. Anyway, we're going to be jumping into a scenario right now. Uh, we're going to change it up a little bit. Maybe we will choose... Maybe we'll choose... Uh, I don't really want to choose like a different scenario. I kind of want to change the map up a little bit. Uh, available biomes. You know what? Let's let's add them all. Let's add them all. Let's absolutely go for it. Map size. Let's go for large map. Uh, resources default. Uh, sure. You know what? I will. I will leave everything as it is. Random seed. Randomize. 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 Randomize once more. That is what we're going with. Booyah! Let's jump into things. Right. So the game has changed uh, a little bit uh, since the last time uh, I played. Uh, there's a couple of things that uh, that have changed somewhat. One of the things that I am real quick gonna change is the UI scaling, which uh, does need to be uh, just a little, a little teensy tiny little bit larger uh, so that I can see what the heck I'm doing. Right, we don't need to worry about that. What do we got here? We got a town center and this town center is going to be increasing in size over the course of time, which uh, we're very much looking forward to doing. Uh, we got a little, we got a little, uh, a little checklist over here. So we need to produce some planks. We need to get some happiness together. Omni Temple, and we need to get tech level. Uh, this is for victory conditions. Cool. Fine. Okay. Well, um, a first port of call, to me, seems like we should maybe think about getting uh, a little bit of wood, dare I suggest. That seems like a, a pretty a pretty darned good idea. I mean, if we go into the build menu, we can actually see exactly what we can build right now. Uh, can't build another town center. We can build houses, which is probably what we're going to do. A lumber mill. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to need to do that. So we're going to need to get stone and some wood. We can get a well. Fine. We can buy workers. We'll talk a little bit about the worker mechanics in just a second. Uh, let me do yoink to here. And we will get this. There we go. We will get that root connected up. And we'll just get everyone Chopping down trees and bringing the trees back to, bringing the trees back to the town hall shouldn't take too long at all. Um, we should also probably look to see if maybe we can get, maybe we can pilfer one of these people to do rocks instead because we do actually need a couple of rocks. Uh, yeah. So as I say, uh, things have changed somewhat since the last time that I played, not too dramatically, uh, but definitely there's going to be a couple of things that we need to that we need to sort of relearn. Uh, which is quite important. Right, the town hall. The town hall covers an area that you can kind of see here uh, in this golden outline. And that's okay. Uh, tell you what I'm going to do before we before we jump into things. If I go into build, because uh, I can cut the grass. Tools, cut grass. There we go. I don't think I can increase the tool size anymore, but it just means that I can actually see what the heck I'm doing. There we go. Get that out of the way. There is no there is no benefit to having or not having grass, as far as I'm aware, anyway. There could very well be some unknown benefit, but it doesn't cost anything to remove it. So I'm just going to get rid of as much as I possibly can uh, in this little sort of plateau area. Cool. We'll create a footpath out here, and then we will start assembling some houses. Now, I'd kind of like to be you know, somewhat, somewhat smart about this. We're gonna get three, four houses, which is the maximum number that we can get for this specific town hall right here, which is grand. It's a fine, it's a fine place. It's a fine place to be. And it's gonna allow us to actually get some more workers, which is kind of what I'm after. Now, the way that workers in this game work, uh, you actually spend coins. You spend yellow coins in order to get workers and the workers go towards your population limit, which is currently 12. I mean, that's fine. I've got no complaints, got no issues with that. We'll get all of these workers doing stone production. Now, as you can see, each and every one of these houses, of course, can house workers. 
that's obviously how it is. Uh, but they can all, they can all, uh, they can all experience happiness. And happiness is actually quite important. We need to provide a couple of resources to the house in order to, to provide happiness. So uh, I think that we're going to probably try and do that next, if I do indeed say so myself. Uh, right, there's a whole bunch of stuff which is coming. I mean, compute blocks, we got logic blocks, we got railroad control, we got buildings, obviously, which we're going to get through, uh, lumber mill. I kind of want to, kind of want to build far enough away from the, from the town hall that it's not going to be a problem. No recipe assigned. What do we got? Ooh, work units. That's new. Let's get planks and let's assign, let's assign four workers. So, that's grand. Uh, we need what? We need water. We need wood. Let's get you. Let's get you to go pick up planks. Take them all the way out over there. Beautiful. Right. We've also got cotton here, which is fine for now. Uh, we're we're going to be able to, to bypass that pretty effectively. There we go. Okay, good. I don't actually know if the path increases walk rate. Okay, the base path does increase walk rate. Uh, I did know that there are there are later paths that we can get that will increase the, the work rate a little bit more, but that's fine. I mean, log bridges, wood conveyor belt. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's worth that's worth investigating for sure. Uh, so as you can see, we're inputting, we're inputting wood. We are outputting planks, which is kind of nice. And that's apparently... Uh, Apparently going into this going into this little little reservoir over here, which is which is fine We need to produce 20 planks in order to in order to make people happy. That's cool. That's very very cool What else have we got quick access? We've got that down there research. Yeah, we are gonna go into to research in just a second We need to hit tech level 2 before we're able to do that and that is and that is planks, isn't it? Yeah, that is pretty much Pretty much planks. Let's get you to go and pick up more woods and let's get you to go and pick up some more wood and take that over there as well. Now, what I think we should probably have as standard is a path that is too wide. Uh, that is mostly to ensure... Do we have enough wood? We do not have enough wood to make uh, to make footpaths. That's fine. We'll, we'll get there. Uh, the reason that we want to have uh, footpaths that are, that are too wide is so that we are always able to uh, allow people to pass each other on the street. Because at the moment, there will be a little bit of a bottleneck. Oh, actually, tell a complete lie. People can pass through each other. Uh, maybe that's a change, but it definitely did not used to be the case. Also, I think we were we were just about looking at a, t at a town hall upgrade there. Yeah. I don't quite know what the heck happened, but uh, but we were close. Right, so we need to try and get... We need to try and get... Planks back here. Oops. Pick up planks. Take them over there. Beautiful. Okay. That's fine. We should be we should be making we should be making some pretty sweet progress. So that's great. Let's have a little look. Okay, goals menu, we've got tech levels. Fine, we've got victory conditions. This whole interface is brand new. Shared inventory, that's not really applicable right now. We got a production graph down here. We got a happiness supply overview. That's kind of nice. Oh, we can get water, by the way. We can definitely get a well. If I get a well, we need what ten planks in order to get a well. So we do technically have the ability to get. We do technically have the ability to get a well. We just do not have. We just do not have it. But trust me, it's not always going to be as onerous a journey as it is right now. Uh, the reason that I selected the lumber mill over here in the first place was so that we'd be able to, you know, give ourselves a little bit of space and hopefully utilize this wood uh, once the trees over here have been have been depleted, which they will be. Struggling to highlight that tree for some reason. There we go. We're at 34 out of 47 bits of wood extracted from that tree. So we are getting there. We are getting there. Right. So I think happiness, happiness requires, yeah, happiness requires a little bit of water uh, in order to get the first level going. So we'll worry about that in just a second. Tech level two. Uh, hey, hey, look at that. Food market, school, general store, masonry, woodworking, basic logistics, grain processing, and civics. Civics is also new as far as I'm aware. Uh, so we got a little bit of an overview here. That's fine. Uh, there is a specific way that we handle research, uh, I believe. 
there should be. I think that we still use books, if, unless I'm unless I'm sorely mistaken. We still need to we still need to use books in order to in order to do at least some elements of research. Uh, what I'm really looking for, to be honest, in the buildings is the storage building. Oh, what the heck is it called? What the heck is it called? Structural blocks, farming pads. No, it's uh, general store at school. Allows research of new technologies. Yeah, that's 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 what I'm looking for. Lumber mill. We've got a lumber mill already. Crates. What am I looking for? The barn. That's what I'm looking for. We need the we need the barn. Requires woodworking research. Okay. All right. That's probably. Woodwork, woodworking is right. Woodworking is right here. Okay, we need to get a school, and we need to get a school absolutely pronto. We need twenty planks in order to get that in order to get that up and running, and we are not quite there yet. Okay, let's reconfigure this. Let's get let's get the local. Let's get the uh, a more local provision of wood, shall we? There we go. So instead of taking wood from you know, in the in the town center, we will now just grab it locally and hope that we're going to be able to maybe get a few more people to pick up planks, take them over here. Beautiful. That should help out tremendously. Right. Let's get that well down. Get that well down and let's get you uh, pick up and take to the town center. Now, I don't know if it's automatic. In fact, I don't think it is. I do not think that it is. It's not automatic between the between the town center and the the houses. We need to get the marketplace in order to get that up and running. Either way, we've got one person that's doing. There we go. Uh, we got one person that's doing the uh, the delivery of water to all of the houses. That's going to generate a little bit of coinage for us, which is quite nice. I do kind of like that. How much stone do we have? 70, 71 stone. I'm actually gonna. I'm actually going to call time on the stone collection operation. And maybe see if we can try and focus our energies on something else. It's very, very important that we get the food market down for uh, automation reasons, which will become very, very clear soon. But I would rather, I think, get the get the school down. I'd rather get the school down. We're full up of wood here. Well, you know what? Let's maybe devote yet another person to doing transporting into the town hall. Again, feels like it's a colossal waste of time. It is a colossal waste of time in the early game until we get the barn up and running. I am so, 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 so keen to get the barn up and running. But, uh, but obviously, we'll have to wait a little bit. Okay. So, paper. Paper is what we require. Paper is what we require in order to conduct research in the school. To be honest. Let's go move. Stick it over there. I love the fact that you can just move stuff in this game. Uh, the other cool thing that you can do in this game is by you can enable multiple recipes at the same time. There is a little bit of a penalty for having... Okay, hold on. Uh, let's get water from here. Take to the lumber mill. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, there is a little bit of a penalty for having... Uh, for having multiple recipes crafting at the same time. But that doesn't particularly matter. It's not a big deal. Uh, we can also probably reduce the number of workers that we have in the lumber mill and maybe deploy them. Uh, not worker overview. There we go. Deploy them as actual workers. And we'll say you can take paper to there and you can just chill out here for uh, a little while. And hopefully we should. Hopefully we should be outputting paper and we should be turning it into into research. That's the that's the dream. We need 25 general research points. So that's basically 25 bits of paper uh, or two and a half books or half an enchanted book plus 50 coins. So we really need to be saving our coins if I uh, if I do indeed say so myself. We need to be saving our coins. But we've got happiness. We've got happiness in each and every one of these houses. Yep, that is, that is fine. That is, that is totally, totally, totally fine. Okay, that's, that's all good. Pretty, pretty happy with that. Uh, is there a way for us to get more cash more quickly? 
Not really. I mean, we can get the food market. We can get the food market just as a... Just as a thing to do. Does the food market distribute... Distribute water? It does not, in fact. That's fine. That is fine. Fine, 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 fine indeed. Let's... Reduce that. And we'll get one more worker. Because I'm looking here, and it says that the food market will... Hopefully... Excuse me. Wrong button. Uh, it should distribute wheat. So even though, even though we can we can harvest we can harvest grain, we can take it into the food market, and hopefully that's going to be sold to another house, and that's going to turn into even more money for us, which is really really great. Uh, there is a little bit of a chronic shortage of workers right now. I can probably turn a few more workers into doing other bits and bobs, but that's fine. Also, this could do with going here. There we go. And that's going to speed up the delivery system. Population size 2, house capacity plus 4. Heck yeah. Love to see it. That's great, actually. That is great. And what do you know? We've got the ability to upgrade our town center. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful. What, what did that even do? I have no idea. Um, I don't think it did anything at all. I don't think it did anything at all. The good news is that we've now got capacity for uh, way, 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 way more people. Uh, we also have the opportunity to drive up happiness. We also have the opportunity to hopefully nab ourselves, nab ourselves some, some actual, some actual books, some actual research. Could do grain processing. Um... It's not the shortage of, of... Actually, it is the shortage of general research, apparently, that was the problem. Yeah, okay, I don't know why... Wait, what the heck? This is very, very new. Okay, so we now what? We now sell education, general research points, experience points. Oh, I see. So we actually provide... We provide edumacation to houses now. Okay, that's brand new. Did not used to be that way. Very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. So it's linked to eight houses. So the school now has a much more interactive element with the uh, with the houses. Well, I I like it actually. I like it. That's that's pretty that's pretty darn cool. That is pretty darn cool. It looks like it looks like we're managing to provide looks like we're managing to provide happiness to to pretty much everyone. Houses with supplied item, houses actively consuming item. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty decent. That is pretty darn decent, if I do indeed say so myself. So yeah, we'll we'll be we'll be quite happy with that. Uh, right. Anyway, back to the research at hand. Woodworking is what I said that I wanted to get, wasn't it? Let's nab that. The barn, the workshop, the chute, and the wagon. And this is where this is where things become really um, quite fun, actually, and we start properly automating the heck out of this town. So all of the people that are currently engaged in the process oh, have I not have I not got the shoot? All of the people that are currently engaged in the oh, we need red coins in order to get the shoots. That's a that's a little bit of a shame. Uh, how many planks do we have here? We can take some planks to. Not the marketplace, but the general store, and that's going to allow us to get red coins. That would be good. All right, we'll leave a little bit of space there. Market and house connections. Yep, yeah, fine. There we go. Okay, nab planks. Take them there. That's gonna get us red. That's gonna get us some uh, some red coins by selling planks to houses. Good stuff. Uh, we can actually see how much they're all worth by just hovering over them. Stone is worth stone is worth something as well. Wheels are, are obviously worth more. The 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 higher the um the higher the level of item, the the better really. Right. You need to go over here and chill. You need to go over here and chill. Anyone who is currently involved in plank collection or basic item transportation needs to kind of chill. Even you. You need to chill as well. Because we're about to get the shoot, and that's gonna be that's gonna be freaking huge. Right, you need to go and chill as well. We can probably sell these people, get the five coins back. Uh, if we delete 
if we delete people, uh, then, then we get the coins, and then we get the coins back, as far as I'm aware. Planks, you can go over there. Okay, uh, what did we need for, what did we need for the shoot? I think it was just literally 20, it was literally just 20 coins. So, as soon as we have transported enough, as soon as we've transported enough planks to the general store, which should be happening very, very shortly indeed. Five, four, three, two, one. I'll actually get another another little helper to help uh, accelerate this process. We're going to get the shoot, and the shoot's going to basically make uh, some pretty massive, monstrous improvements to the entire operation of uh, everything, to be honest. Right, let's, let's nab it. Let's go research. Let's go shoot. Let's say happy days. That's great. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, ooh, actually, yeah, tell, tell you what. Uh, I might have made a, a little bit of a boo-boo here. But it's fine. Right. Excuse me. There we go. So now you can yoink that in there. And you should be able to shoot right into there. Let's get plank pick up. I, of course, was thinking that planks would roll down shoots. Uh, planks cannot roll down shoots. And I actually don't think that paper can either. So uh, that maybe makes my initial comment somewhat redundant. But that's okay. That's fine. That's totally fine. There we go. Okay, so now we're moving now we're moving planks into the barn, which is grand, and we're moving paper still into the into the school. Uh yeah, we're gonna have to hold off. We're gonna have to hold off a little bit before being able to properly utilize all of the, the tech in the way that I wanted to. But it's fine. Uh population milestone, yes, let's get it. Uh grain processing, I'll take. The food mill is kind of nice, in fact. Waiting for item pickup. Yeah, he see here's the thing don't really have, we don't really have a plank delivery network. We don't have a plank delivery system. We're gonna need to try and get, what is it? Civics 1. What does Civics 1 do? Wood conveyor belt? Wood conveyor belt is gonna help, is gonna help out a lot. I uh, don't think that we have, we don't have the option to get a farm. But we do have the option for a food mill, which I am quite interested in. Let's get a food mill here, and we'll see if we can try and get some more valuable items. Flour can be sold for four yellow coins as opposed to the one that we're selling grain for. There's also a whole bunch of different recipes for animal feed. Let's get you in there and you in there. All right, let's get you to transport flour to there. Nice. Okay. We've got one worker in here at the moment. Let's increase that to a couple and let's get some more some more mining. Right, drop off and then work on the next thing. Which is flower collection and delivery. Cool. Alright, that's looking that's looking particularly decent. And that's looking very, very good indeed. Should be making should be making flour at a fair rate of knots. You're still delivering water to everywhere. Are we... Oops. Did I stop the water collection? I think I might have stopped the water collection. That was a really, really, really short-sighted uh, short plan, wasn't it? Truly, that was a very, very short-sighted plan. Anyway, the good news is, is that the barn is looking great, and we are assembling a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of planks. And we don't need to transport it all the way to the town center. We're going to be nabbing. We're going to be nabbing uh, wooden conveyor belts soon. We need to get basic logistics before we're allowed to do that, though. Which is a bit of a shame. Because basic logistics will require uh, experience points. And experience points, I don't want to say are hard to come by right now. Because they're very much not. We just don't have many of them. Right. More houses. That's great. That is really, really good. To be honest, we could just get like a well here, couldn't we? We could get a well there. Uh, but of course, we don't have the stone needed in order to do that. So let's start up stone extraction again. There we go. 
and there we go. Okay, this is quite a this is quite a nice little, little bustling town. I'm really trying not to get too far ahead of myself. I don't really want to go, you know, over the top here. We need to work on the automation element significantly, though, because it is um, lacking. I think is the is the technical phrase. Happiness is not in a great place. We're also not supplying anything to the general store, which I am unhappy about, um, to say the least. We could we could definitely be doing more to the general store but i am happy with the um with the output to the to the food mill that's looking that's looking pretty darn good yeah that is that is good new research is available love to see it that's great masonry that's gonna get us a stone what is it a stone mason yeah and also road i tell you what road might end up being the more useful the more useful of those things. Allows fast wagon movement. Yeah, we don't have wagon movement, do we? <gasps> we totally do have wagons. I didn't even realize. Also raft, that's brand new. A simple wooden raft that allows transport of goods along water. Fine. Uh, we should really, really try and get the uh, the wagon up and running. Now, in order to get the wagon up and running, we need to get a workshop, which I have uh, absolutely completely neglected to consider building up until this point because I didn't think that I was able to build it. But apparently, we absolutely are. Right, let's build the workshop over here. Let's build it, you know, just in the water, apparently. Well, not actually in the water, on some wooden stilts. I'm, I'm feeling a little spicy, you know? Feeling a little spicy. Let's get that in there. Yep, let's yoink. Uh, we'll get another person. Cool, to work there. Got a worker in here. Uh, it's planks. What am I talking about? That is the wrong... That is the wrong... That is the wrong thing to do, and that was the wrong button to use to destroy a workshop, which I didn't want to get rid of. Okay. Stay there for now. Uh, what am I looking to do? I need to remove block layer. Remove that, and then you need to go from here to there to pick up the planks. Now, the unfortunate reality is that I doubt we're going to have enough planks to make this workshop immediately work, but that's fine. Okay. Again, once we get once we get wooden conveyor belts, we're gonna be we're gonna be off to the races. Uh, I don't think that we can manufacture wooden conveyor belts at the moment, can we? No, we cannot. But we're close. We're close. Let's get some more wood extractors. I keep pressing the wrong worker button. Okay, good stuff. Right, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of wood is what we're creating here. Again, this is all going to be automated. I'm trying to keep the sort of... Trying to keep all of the component parts far enough away from each other that when I do get, uh, get automation, when I get everything automated, it should be relatively easy for us to connect everything up. Okay, we're getting a lot of we're getting a lot of wood, which is good. House level two reached. Ooh, okay, that's great. House level two was just automatically reached. Now that's interesting. That's very very interesting, because it, if I can recall, it didn't used to be via experience points. It used to be it used to be via an upgrade. So you now use education in order to level up the the houses, which I think I I think I like a lot actually. I think I like a lot. Right, can we get a wagon? I want to show off a wagon. We got six wagon wheels. Heck yeah, let's get a wagon. Now we're talking. Okay, pick up planks. Take them over here. Town hall's ready for an upgrade. Increases maximum number of houses as well as local storage capacity. Okay. Uh, don't think that that's true. But that's okay. Anyway, these wagons are pretty decent. They carry four planks is very very nice and it's going to allow us to transport uh, a really large number of resources in one fell swoop rather than waiting around for it to happen uh stonemason we are going to get a stonemason let's get the stonemason far enough away let's get stone bricks yep and let's do let's do that in there and then the people that are mining the stone can continue to mine stone i'm going to get four peeps go and work on this. 
Right. So a little, yeah, a little lackluster in terms of in terms of automation. Let's maybe get. Let's maybe get another wagon actually. Let's get another wagon. Flower over there. Sure. Okay. And then we're turning this into stone bricks. Now stone bricks, do they roll? I guess we'll have a little we'll have a little look. They do not roll. Bricks, bricks don't roll. News flash. News just in. Bricks don't roll. Okay, how are we doing? We still are maintaining a surplus of I need to fix that. That's embarrassing. Uh, we're still maintaining a, a, a surplus of uh, a surplus of planks over here. Right. We're about to produce the stone bricks. It's going to allow us to hit tech level 3. Have we researched everything at tech level 1? Not really, uh, actually. Basic logistics we'll get. Wood conveyor belts we should be able to get pretty soon, actually. Pretty soon. You're taking stone bricks. Did I get rid of my people that are moving planks? I think I did. There we go. Okay, so we should now be selling. We should now be selling some. We should now be selling some resources in the general store, which is really really helpful. We could start selling wheels, actually. We could definitely start doing wheels. That would get us some. That would get us some mega bucks real fast, actually. I think I need more people. I, think I need more people doing wood collection here. To be honest, we should be collecting. There's no excuse really not to just extend that. There we go. Put that on there. Put that on there. Yeah, absolutely no reason not to not to just stick it on the conveyor belt because that's just going to speed things up tremendously. Okay, good. Let's hit tech level three: farming, forestry, intermediate logistics, boat building, kitchen, fluid pipe, tailor, coin boosters, and wooden railways. Wooden railways, I think, are also new, if I am not mistaken, which is very very exciting. Uh, still no increase in house capacity. We need to do a few more bits and bobs to prove that we're worthy of that. Still waiting on civics level one. I have absolutely no idea what that's going to mean. House capacity plus two. Town capacity town center plus one. Okay. The wood conveyor belt is what we need. I mean, that is, that is really, really important. Experience points we're looking, we're looking good for. I mean... If we could get just a little bit of additional water. Oh, you, you're having pathing problems. No route to target. Oh, the reason that there's no route to target is because we are maxed out on... We're maxed out on our plank storage and there's wood backlogged all the way along this uh, this chute. I mean, that's that's fine in the, in the short term because in the long term, we're going to be getting a wood conveyor belt to fix uh, all of these problems. What is the wood conveyor belt recipe? It's planks and also wood. I mean, that's that's good to note, actually. That's good to note. Did I get basic logistics? I did get basic logistics, which means that we can get proper logic blocks, which uh, I'm actually really looking forward to utilizing because we can nab this down here, like so. There we go, like that. Uh, now, it might not require a logic block in order to split uh, evenly and effectively here. So grab that into there. Cool. Oh, wait, hold on. Were you... No, yep, you're the right person for the job there. That's fine. New research available. Uh, yes, wood conveyor belt. That's it. Research completed. Yep, I know. We're, we're fine. We're fine on that front. Right, so civics, farming, everything requires a lot of, a lot of stuff. That's okay. We can we can afford to we can afford to wait a little bit. Okay, wood conveyor belt. Let's let's see if we can start nabbing that. 
Uh, we'll start getting some wood. We'll start getting some more people on a very, very temporary basis, I would hasten to add, to transport the planks because we need them. We need them. Wood conveyor belts. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You do pick up everything and move it over here. We don't care about just the wheels. We care about the wood conveyor belts as well. Now, this is where, this is where the automation story starts to really, really shine. This is where... This is where we hopefully are able to pick up the pace a little bit. Planks, 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 planks. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Everything is good. Also, uh, have I got enough stone bricks to start thinking about maybe a bit of a road here? I think I do, you know. I think I do. I'm going to create a bespoke... A spoke path for wagons, uh, which we cannot afford quite yet because we're out of stone blocks, but that's fine. Uh, who's doing the transporting of stone? You're fired. You're dreadful at your job. No offense. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace you with a I'm gonna replace you with a with a automaton who doesn't complain. There we go. You're getting deleted, I'm afraid. How do I delete you? Can I not delete you? Oh, you used to be able to delete humans. Anyway, doesn't particularly matter. Uh, you can be reassigned to working in the fields. I say the fields. Foraging is perhaps a, a more astute, uh, astute situation. Right, I think that, I think that's going to allow for much quicker transportation of resources to the mothership, the town center that is. It might not, you know, it might not. We might need to take another look at the, the, the sort of design here. But for now, whatever. Anyway, I've, I've warbled on long enough that we're going to be able to get a wood conveyor belt, which is actually kind of incredible. Let's get wood conveyor belt, and we are going to be... What's the issue here? Grabber, item filters, planks. There we go. Boom. Okay, this is where this is where things start getting start getting funky. So you drop off. Yep, you can go there. You can go there. Yep, chill there. Fine. And you can just come and chill here. Again, I. Okay, we can delete people. I just don't know. I don't know how to. Delete them otherwise. Select columns. Maybe that's it. Whatever. Anyway, doesn't particularly matter. The point is, now we've basically automated... We've automated production of wood wheels. We've automated production of uh, wooden, wooden belts. And there's no reason just to stop there, by the way. If I build some scaffolding here, which, again, is like an element of this game that I just absolutely love. We can basically automate the entirety of the output. There's going to be no filter on what we on what we can't take out, which means that we can take out either wood wheels or um, or wooden belts, which is just great. You, I'm afraid, once you've dropped off your last bit, you're going to get fired because there's no reason not to fire people. Uh, people are getting lost. That's okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing great. This is, this is fantastic. There's much more optimization to come. There is much, 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 much more optimization to come. This is looking good, by the way. The truck has got a, has got a very, 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 very quick delivery route. Which is grand. We could deliver directly to the general store. I haven't decided to do that, but it's fine. It doesn't particularly matter. The stone is looking pretty good. What have we got in terms of research? I guess I'll get civics. Farming is probably about a billion times more useful, though. Forestry, also pretty useful. In fact, I think I'm going to take forestry. Yeah, so the forester is a pretty handy building. It means that we don't need to devote as many people to faffing around with this sort of operation uh, as, we currently, as we currently have. I'm going, to need to, I'm going to need to clean up the trees a little bit here. I need to clean up the trees here. Remove resource there. 
Is that it? I think that might be all the trees that we need to clean up. I think I might need to go back another another row. Okay, less than ideal, but uh, but it's fine. One, two, three. Building is blocked. Oh, it's blo is it blocked by the puny humans? I think it's blocked by the puny humans. Love to see it. Okay, that's that's really, really good. Right, we are going to extract wood from here. That's grand. And we're just going to do... We're literally just going to do that. And everyone is going to work in this freaking forester. We're going to delete all of the people that are irrelevant. Because frankly, the forester should be able to do a much better job. Uh, it will... In fact, no. Hold on. It doesn't actually cost any... It doesn't actually cost any coins now. Which is great, because it used to, if I can recall, it used to cost coins to utilize the Forester. So now we're able to effectively get, well, all of these, all of these workers to output as much, as much stuff as we could possibly want. Uh, I mean, that's great. That's wonderful. Let's also make sure that we get another one of these. Let's get, uh, let's get that in there. And then let's ditch the person that's doing the water delivery because there's absolutely no point now that we're able to now that we're able to accelerate that process everything that can be automated in my opinion should be automated like we cannot devote people's time and attention there we go ditch you ditch you we cannot devote people's time and attention uh to doing useless stuff you know we gotta we gotta prioritize what we do Kind of doofed that up. Okay, keep it pointing out that way, and then along here, in there. Output only planks, please. So paper at one side, planks at the other side. I mean, this isn't the best type of belt that we can get. I think that's probably abundantly obvious. What can we get? Fluid pipes? Fluid pipes are kind of useless. Fluid pipes are useless. Animal pasture is something that I am very interested in. We need to get farming first. I think we get farming first because uh, there is a way that we can manufacture books, right? So books with either with either cloth or with leather plus four pages gives us a book, which is much, much, much more useful. I mean, we could do that right now. If I get cotton production set up, if I get cotton production set up, then we could squeeze another workshop in the middle here. Okay, this is going to require two workshops. That's fine. So workshop number one here. Workshop number two here. Yep, fine. This one is going to produce books from cloth and it's going to output to there. Output books, that is. And this is going to produce cloth from cotton and will unfortunately, for now anyway, require manual, manual intervention here. There we go. Right, so that should, that should be fine. Uh, we'll nab a, we'll nab a wagon here. Wagon can do cloth pickups and drop-offs. If I'm not mistaken, that should very effectively allow us to start making books. Of course, after I divert, after I divert the resources accordingly, paper, brilliant. So now we should much more effectively be able to educate people, which is kind of what we're all about. Right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's looking pretty good. That is looking pretty darn good by my books. Haha, <laughs> by my books? Sometimes I amuse only myself. I understand this. I understand. Anyway, school's looking, school's looking good. We need to provide, uh, or we need to, to construct cloth conveyors in order to increase the next tech level. 
And also wooden rails, both of which we can do at the workshop, but I believe we need more... Yeah, we need more, uh, we need more research. Wow, holy cow, we are doing, we are doing some immense things with research now that we got books on the go. Holy heck, that's, that's quick. Look at those, look at those general research points that are building up. Let's nab farming. Uh, farm, farm tile, and new research available, which is good, uh, because we want the animal pasture. And in fact, we can nab that right now. So the whole reason I was going to grab the animal pasture was for beef farming. So that I could perhaps get uh, the uh, the book the book binding the book binding uh, the book binding or the books bound with beef as opposed to being bound with cloth. I don't think that I particularly care now. I do care about cutting the grass though. I also wish that I could get a larger grass cutting tool, but I don't think that I can. We're stuck with this piddly grass cutting tool. Anyway, it doesn't matter. For the most part, it should be fine. Uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get a farm somewhere here. Yeah, I don't love this as a location for a farm. Just saying. It's okay. We can use the existing wheats. And we can also shoot it out. There we go. Let's delete you. Delete you. Delete you. Delete you. Delete you and delete you. Right. Increase the number of workers that we have in here. Now, I think... I think these... I think these bits of wheat will diminish over time unless I replant them. Which is okay. Okay. We need to get farm tiles built, and we can do that fairly easily. Uh, but we need to get fertilizer produced first, which, handily enough, we need a pasture to do. And a pasture is... Well, it's a thing that I literally just, uh, just researched, which is quite handy. Right, fertilizer. Fertilizer is animal feed. Animal feed plus water. Alternatively, I could do some of these other things. Sure. Fertilizer plus water. No workers assigned. Not enough space. Yeah, let's reduce the number of people that we have working in that farm. Because let's be, let's be brutally honest. It's not really not a super high requirement. Let's also produce animal feed from, from the wheat that we have. Ah, look at that. The grain does actually grow back. That's, that's cool. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize, didn't realize that it did. Let's get this animal pasture up here. Let's get, let's get that up there. Yoink that up there. Output, output is going to be animal feed. Uh, we're going to need an input as well. Another input is water. On the shoot. Perfect. That's going to give us fertilizer. Fertilizer for the purposes of... Fertilizer for the purposes of literally creating uh, farm tiles for for this area. I mean, that's that's fine. There's there's nothing that we can really do to speed this up, with the exception of putting people back down that I just took off the job of transporting grain. I keep keep left clicking instead of right clicking. Anyway, you guys can go do that. You're waiting for item pickup. You can get deleted. There's pretty much no reason to have you kicking around. Cool. That's great. That's really, really good. Okay, animal feed is en route, which is wonderful. And fertilizer should be supplied accordingly. And that's going to allow us to start creating... It's going to allow us to start creating our very own farm tiles, which is very, very handy indeed. Might be worth us keeping this pasture as well, because we can use it to... We can use it to feed the farm. We can supply fertilizer, and we can also supply uh, water to the farm here, which is something that I very well might want to consider doing. Very, very, very well might want to consider doing that. Anyway, are we still managing? We're still managing to satisfy all of the requirements on pretty much every other front. I mean, research is probably going absolutely, yep, through the roof. 
civics, I guess we'll take. Increase our house limit a little bit. Uh, kitchen, I don't really want to take quite yet. Tailor, don't want to take quite yet. Boat building, I can take because that's cool. And harvest lots of fish. I do want to harvest lots of fish. Coin boosters. Don't quite know what coin boosters does. Yellow coin booster. Work units plus one per second. Okay. Uh, does it just give us coins? For free? I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea what coin boosters do. Cactus fruit. That's brand new, by the way. I can't build a coin booster. No, I have I've no idea. No idea. No idea what coin boosters do. I'll have to check that. I uh, have to check that off camera. Production, expenses, income from houses. Is it income from houses, maybe? Maybe. That is that is very very peculiar. Okay, fertilizer we're doing we're doing good for. That's great. Let's get uh, let's get some farm tiles, shall we? Yes, let's. Not going to be able to get many. That's not many. That is not many at all. And then we are also going to grab some grain planting operations. Oh, we can actually plant on non-farm tiles. The growth rate is is faster. Growth rate is definitely faster on farm tiles, especially if there is a uh, a fertilizer slash water mix, which there is going to be, because I'm going to nab. I'm going to nab this. Man, I love these wooden conveyors. They're they're great. They may not seem great, but they're really really good. Okay, now this is probably the first example of when we will need to put down a logic block. We're going to need to stick down a splitter, and that is going to direct water in a direction that we are happy with. Also, I think we got the... Yeah, I tell you what, Civics gave us the ability to upgrade not only the town hall. It didn't give us the ability to do that at all. It gave us the ability to build another town hall. And a few more houses, which um, I guess is fine. Can't squeeze a house in there. Can squeeze a house in there. Can squeeze a house in there. Let's do that. For good measure, there seems no reason not to, right? Okay. Good stuff. So we should be able to keep all of these farm tiles watered, and we'll be able to keep them fertilized in a bit, too. Yeah. Nice. Okay, well, we're working away. We're working away. We're getting there. We are getting there. Add yellow coin booster. Oh, this is it. This is it. Should we should we see? Should we see how that works? Add yellow coin booster. Add yellow coin booster. Does it Does it cost us yellow coins? Work units plus one per second. Does it literally add a work unit at the cost of a coin? I guess it must, right? It must. It simply, it simply, simply must. Okay, lots and lots of uh, fertilization going on here. The farm tile is looking great. Yield 50, yield 20. So yeah, look at this. The yield on farm tiles is uh, much better than yield on not farm tiles. Which is fine. Uh, we should look. We should think about getting. We should think about getting some more advanced types of food here. I mean, fish for one thing, right? I mean, are there fish around? There's fish here. Fish to me seems like a great idea, because if I'm not mistaken, fish are worth two yellow coins, and if we process them in a kitchen, then they're going to be worth even more than that. That to me. Seems like a pretty darn good idea. What the heck is this? Carrots? Oh my goodness. I like that a lot. Okay, let's get the kitchen research. I was kind of holding off on doing it, but I guess there's no reason not to. Ah, that's a shame. Okay, there is a reason not to, as it as it turns out. Let's, let's forget about that for a bit. And also, we can't get a boat because we are just absolutely bang out of money. If these farm tiles, uh, you know, come good for us, then we're going to be fine. 
And they will come good for us, you know, no doubt about it. It's just a matter of, it's just a matter of time. Matter of time before all of our grain has grown. And we're actually able to do stuff. We're actually able to do stuff with it. Uh, can we... Can we get some more people in? Get some more workers to do harvesting operations. There we go. Harvesting operations to maybe accelerate the rate of fertilizer. Uh, the rate of fertilizer gain. Rate of bread gain. Okay, anyway. Uh, what can we sell in the food market? We can sell carrots. A lot of the things that we can sell are quite basic. Butter is pretty good. Milk is pretty good as well. Can we make milk? Yeah, we can totally make milk. Two bags of animal feed. I'll tell you what, we should really make milk. We should really make milk. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. It only costs one more bag of fertilizer. Water we have an infinite amount of as far as I'm concerned. So we don't really need to worry about that at all. But we're now going to start getting a whole bunch of flour, which is really, really great. That's going to accelerate things. I'm kind of hoping that I can use this as an opportunity to get down a few more... A few more blocks of farm tile. Maybe get those farm tiles planted up as well. That's looking good. Right, let's close. Oops. Uh, close, close, and close. Yeah, close all of that. So that basically means that we're going to hold a maximum amount of fertilizer here. Uh, we're going to nab the milk from the outside. Milk there, yeah. Do I want to transport this directly to the... Do I want to transport this directly to the food market? Kind of do, you know, because that's going to allow me to start building. It's going to allow me to start building the first of, no doubt, many uh, ramping operations. Which is very, very exciting. For a multitude of reasons. That This is what this game is all about. This is what this game is all about. It's all about creating incredible structures. That was a bit high. It's fine. Now, that might not work. That might not work. But uh, but this is kind of what... This is what the game is all about. Right, so milk now no longer needs to worry about being transported in a, in a dodgy fashion. It should be, it should be grand. Uh, fertilizer, similarly, can come out of the back here. Right. Item filter, fertilizer. Yep. And we're going to go... Up. Up. And up. And I think that should give us enough clearance. If the game decides to be sensible. Should give us enough clearance to... To get in. To get in there. Might not work, but it might work. And that's kind of what we're hoping for. Let's fertilize. Let's fertilize everywhere that we possibly can. The milk that we're getting should be... I mean, it should be bringing... It. Look at the money. Look at the money, dude. The money is crazy. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. We're getting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. And in fact, believe it or not, we're not getting... We're not getting enough milk. Enough milk, we're not getting enough water. That's, uh, somewhat surprising if I do indeed say so myself. A little... A little disappointed by that. Let's get a... Grabber. There we go, an extra... An extra well just to assist with uh, just to assist with water production. Hopefully it should keep things tickety boo. But the point is, is that we're able to get much more money much more effectively now. We should be producing a decent amount of flour as well. I mean, you can see. We got near a hundred percent grain here. Which is quite handy as well. I'm gonna grab some more farm tiles. We don't have an unlimited amount of fertilizer. That's fine, but we do have a functionally infinite amount of money. Plant grain. And the grain is going to grow much faster now that, uh, that everything is fertilized. Which is cool. Okay, so yeah, the, the fertilizer supply will take a little while to sort of build back. 
but I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it can it can wait. Let's have a look. Ah, look at that. Okay, so it costs 0 0.5 uh, yellow coins per second. So if I have a little look at production here, expenses, yeah, food mill minus three. Okay, I I see that. I see that. Uh, overall, though, we're making we're making we're making lots. We're making lots. This is this is very very cool. Yeah, that's good to that's good to know. That's good to know. Yellow coin boost. We can always turn it down to zero. Plus one work unit per second. That's quite handy. That is quite handy. I like that a lot. House level four reached. Brilliant. House capacity has increased by four houses. You love to see it. That is great, great, great news. Of course, every time I expand the house network, you know, there is a bit of a risk that I will run into. Uh, sure, I'll take that. Uh, there is a little bit of a risk that I'll run into a situation where I don't have enough resources to, to make it work. But I would kind of rather, I would kind of rather expand, 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 and then sort of, you know, play catch up uh, later down the line. What's the issue here? Ah, we've run out of storage space in the barn. Well, I will upgrade this barn. And I will upgrade it again to ensure that we can continue to, you know, get all of the stonemason stuff out of here that we need. And to be honest, I should be selling the stone. I should be selling the stone. There is there is pretty much no reason. Pretty much no reason not to. Yeah. I know it puts a bit of a kink in the motorway, for want of a better phrase. But, um... But I, I think I can, I can just about live with that. I grab... If I grab a grabber... There we go. And we can start selling stone blocks. We are already selling planks, uh, albeit not very many. We can probably sell a few more. In fact, we can definitely sell a few more. How are we doing for books? Not doing bad for books at all. Whoops. Uh, pick up planks. Drop. There. Yeah, continue to drop planks there. Nab a, a wagon. Or two, in fact. Pick up planks. Take to there. We're going to take directly to the store this time. Right. We'll see if carts collide on the road. Okay, they have to go around each other. That's that's why that's why I wanted to make uh, I make I wanted to make everything too wide because there they can there can be issues but that's okay anyway look at the coinage that we're getting look at the coinage that we're getting it's it's monstrous it's it's a lot it's a lot and believe it or not we need a lot more water than we are currently getting and there's pretty much I mean there is something that we can do about it there is a uh, you know, there's definitely an option to do to do something like this. There we go. Happy days. We could upgrade the pasture as well if we wanted to add additional work units. I don't really want to do that. It's not a big not a big deal, not a priority. Uh, this is good. This is good. Look at that. We got plenty of grain. We got plenty of water. It looks like we got plenty of plenty of wheat, uh, which is which is great. We got coin boosters, which is grand. Uh, somebody gave me a plus heart there. I don't know what that means. I don't particularly care. This is looking this is looking to, to be a, a lovely little village, to be honest. It's not perfect. Far from it. Um, we are still having some issues. Let's get this barn upgraded. Upgraded again. Probably due to the fact that there are a few bottlenecks because we've overproduced things. I still need to set up a, you know, a sales supply of, um, uh, of wheels to the general store. And also cloth, also cotton. Stuff like that, but you know what? That can that can come later. Uh, for now, folks, we're just gonna be happy that things are looking things are looking that good in Orby Town. Thank you ever so much for watching. Hopefully, you'll tune into the next episode. This is Factory Town. I freaking love it. Thanks as ever to the fantastic Patreon support. Patreon.com for social potato. Thanks to Banana Nana -na -na and Aurelio, the two twenty-five dollar plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.